There's a common denominator that all good cities have. They're safe. They have great schools. There's lots of jobs, things to do, and crime's really low. You know them when you see them. It's the kind of places where everyone wants to live. If home prices are too low, it's a sign it's a bad place to live. And certainly if crime is really high, no one wants to live there. To determine the best places to live in America, we decided cities needed to have lots of things to do, lots of jobs, high incomes, low housing vacancies, great schools, and low crime. The cities we're going to talk about all share those qualities. There might be some surprises on this list too, but when you look at the unbiased data, it's hard to argue against. So after analyzing the biggest 250 cities in the country, here's our list as the 10 best places to live in America. Our first stop on our tour of the best cities to live in the U.S. of A is, surprisingly, Gilbert, Arizona. What, what? Gilbert's located near Phoenix. Gilbert has grown at an extremely high rate over the last 30 years, from only 6,000 people to more than 200,000 people. That means lots of people want to live here. Households in Gilbert bring in about 85,000 annually, which is the highest in the state of Arizona. And crime is just about as low as you can expect for a city of its size. Gilbert has its downsides, obviously. It's hotter than blazes in these parts, where you might have to wear an oven mitt to get to work. Some people might not like it that much. Eskimos, for example, probably would hate it here. How come flying through iceberg make you so hot? Huntington Beach, California ranks as the ninth best place to live in America. California cities have a lot to do, and they have a great economy. Huntington Beach is no exception. Huntington Beach is located in Orange County, south of LA. Here in Huntington Beach, the schools are some of the best in the U.S., where funding levels are really high and where overcrowded schools are non-existent. Who wouldn't want to live at the beach, too? Huntington Beach has a lot to do and doesn't have the riffraff you'd find in some of the other Southern California beaches. However, the downside of living in Huntington Beach is competing with all the other people who want to come to the beach. If you've never been here, parking in the summer can be a real pain in the rear. But when you have hotties like this in your front yard every day, you'll probably make an exception or two. We're gonna stay in California with the next best place to live in America, Fremont, California. Now, Fremont's not in Southern California, it's a San Francisco suburb. The weather here isn't as nice as it is down South, and at times it can be downright dreary. Plus, Bay Area traffic is a real mess and the cost of living makes it hard for people to get ahead. But throw that all aside when you look at the actual data. This San Francisco suburb has some of the lowest crime in the region and lots of folks are employed gainfully. This isn't just a place for older people either. It's a really family-friendly community with lots to do. And the city of Fremont has a very large budget, which means lots of funding for parks, activities, and protection. Welcome to Frisco, Texas. Frisco is actually also the wealthiest place in America too. Now we're not gonna speculate that wealth is the main sign of desirability, but in most studies, the better places to live happen to also be the wealthier places. That's often because areas where there's high incomes are also areas with great schools, lots of jobs, and low crime. Here in Frisco, the average household brings in more than 100,000 a year annually. And this is just about the safest place you can live in the state of Texas too. Most of the successful people who commute to the Dallas-Fort Worth area live here. There's a reason Frisco was named the fastest growing city for a number of years in the early 2000s. Cary, North Carolina is the sixth best place to live in the US. Chances are if you live in Cary, a car break-in happens once a week and makes the front page of the local paper. This Raleigh suburb is simply in a class of its own when it comes to a peaceful, quiet standard of living. Practically everyone in this community who wants a job has one. And there's plenty of technology companies in the area, which is one reason people are flocking here from all over, particularly the Northeast. Yeah, Cary's a place full of rainbows and butterflies. Ah. The fifth best city in America is the city of Irvine, California, folks. Irvine has been cited as one of the best places to live in the country, and the technology and art scene here is simply booming. Irvine's definitely one of the most desirable places to live if you want to live in the Los Angeles area. People here are wealthy, and there's plenty of jobs and low crime. The population here is growing pretty fast, too. In fact, lots of people think it's getting too crowded here. Well, you can imagine why. If I told you to move to Irvine, would you? Well, you could. Keeping with the trend of California suburbs, Torrance ranks as the fourth best place to live in America. Here in Torrance, the number of people employed is really high. Part of that's because it's located right in the Southern California growing tech scene. Crime here is far lower than in other nearby cities like Long Beach. 
And it's not as expensive to live here as it is in nearby Pacific Palisades or Manhattan Beach. However, the average home value here is 650 grand and the income levels are only about $85,000. Meaning, yes, Torrance is an awesome place to live, but the cost of living is extremely high, just like in many of the other California cities we mentioned. People in Torrance have all sorts of opportunities for fun. Here we see people eating a fine meal at a Torrance dining establishment. There's plenty of shopping in Torrance malls and such. And here's a small Torrance child watching a movie on her tablet. Santa Clara, California is an awesome place to live. Just ask Santa Clarence. Silicon Valley suburbs are where it's at in America these days. What makes Santa Clara particularly desirable? If measuring an area based on the income of its residents is a sign of desirability, then Santa Clara has not made. Folks here are pretty wealthy, earning just under 100,000 each a year. That's pretty darn good. The schools are great in Santa Clara, and crime is among the lowest in the state too. If you live in the Bay Area and you say you live in Santa Clara, you get major street cred. That means you've made it big time. If my friends could see me now. Sunnyvale, California has been known around the streets as a great place to live too. According to our unbiased data, it's the second best place to live in America. Why? Well, let's take a peek. First off, it would be hard to find a better place to raise kids than in this Silicon Valley city, which has the highest home values in the country. You could make the case that home prices really do determine how great a place is because people speak with their cash. Other factors, really low crime, high population density, and just about everyone who wants a job has a job. And Sunnyvale isn't just for nerds either. And where's the best city to live in America? On paper, Naperville, Illinois is the best place to live in America. Naperville is so powerful! This Chicago suburb is plain loaded. There's only one place in the country where families bring in more money per capita. If being near wealthy people where crime is something that simply happens in other cities is a place that sounds good to you, then Naperville's your spot. Money Magazine always sings the praises of Naperville, and Kiplinger called it the best place in America to retire. That is, if you can stand the brutal winners. Plus, the public libraries in Naperville rank as the best in the land, and the downtown area of Naperville is just so charming. Who wouldn't want to live here? It sure beats this place, doesn't it? If you live in Naperville or in any of the other cities we mentioned, that's so fresh. If you don't, we're sure your city is also pretty cool. Maybe?